I think I am in the process of letting go of everything but try to live as simple as possible because I think the only thing in my mind now is to trust it is a cycle I am in and I am in the K2 Dasha according to the Vedic astrology. Then after two years time, I will go to the Venus uh, Mahadasha. So seems like everything just acting perfectly fine and it meant to be happen this way in this Mahadasha. It's like a human body have the period of time like a infant and they are teething and they are toddler then they are teenagers and a young adult adult middle age and they are growing dying so it's certain or in some certain orders but in Vedic astrology I think I can say it's spiritual body cycle so everybody could happen any time in their life in that circle so let's say I might in my Ketu Dasha when I am now in my 40s but somebody can have their K2 Dasha in their new year um, newborn so it's nothing to do with everybody just different and they all have different things to let to let us to learn in their particular way so every planets are the teachers for us so they're using their way to manifest everything in our life in order to teach the life lessons or make us to be better version in their own way particularly the k2 dasha is the hard one i mean most of them maybe somebody already done a lot of their learning clean a lot of karm karmic debt that's so it's not so hard for them or they've been very spiritual but most of us are trapped in the material world maze so the k just want to teach us let go of the material trap so i was thinking about oh if i have money all my problem will be solved so that hit me hardly and the I got the money but I just lost all of them so probably it's even worse than I never have it but it's hard to say because in other people they might think at least that they experienced how it feel like you actually have the material success success or satisfaction once it's better than you never have it. But it just never can be compared. So also I think the K2 and Natasha, yeah, they are in the same one. If you are in the highest or higher perspective. So uh, in my understanding it's like a k2 is delusion about you think you need that food k2 is like our mouth we want to eat something and we think that's good 
of for us. I want to eat that. It will make me feel good. So you eat something actually is not so healthy, but you feel tasty at the moment when you have it. But you got so ill or so uh disgust or so regret after half day or three hours or even thirty minutes. So. The things you keeping every day, you just wake up and you thinking, okay, I need to eat that, and that things make you the smells, everything, the the cars you want, the house, the man you want to get, the career, the success you want is all delusion because that's the thing you think you want, and you eat them. Then the Kato is the part, the other side of you. You need to digest and you need to poo, you need to. Dead them out like you breathing and you have to breathe out. So that part of you become detoxing whatever you eat from your mouth. So that make me feel more cautious about what I eat. So I start to have my diet. So. In the K two Dasha, I think it could be a energy fasting time. So you don't really you make your life simple, and you don't take because it's go to different level. Because in no more time, you just eat. It's a food. It's a material level. You just eat, and you pulling everything you eat. Eventually, they were gone. They will become shit. So it's a delusion. What do you really need to eat to? Really nurture yourself and your body, and the the, the more simple the nutri nutri food, actually that's the thing you want, you need. So it's a process about learning, what I should take in my body. So I also in this K two Dasha I start to fasting, cleaning my body, and I feel. I don't have that more need since the the more I fasting, the more I practicing this auto energy fasting, the more the less I need from this. You know, every time I think every three hours, four hours, and、uh, at noon I need to eat that things, but actually no, I don't, and I am burning the the fat in my body. I'm burning my karma. I carrying my body, my shoulder, the weight, the fat, and you know the fat actually they are storage all the toxins from the food chemi chemical things you eat, you have. So it's all together, the spiritual body, the physical body. I feel they are all working together. So. The more I cleaning my body, and then the more clear I get from my spiritual brain. And I thought it's a hard because it's just um the way we be treated and how we grow up and、uh, most of you know most people doing it and、uh, you are taking a different path, but. The thing is, the K two Dasha is forcing you to go different path because there's no way you can living your life like before or just pretending you still can use in a way, and the money goes off everything. You just escape, and you won't. You will be fine. You won't be fine because I at some point, I just feel I am locked in my this physical body. It. Sounds like it's okay, you know. I mean, even though I am, I feel even though if I just lock in my physical body, as in a in a jail, I can just kill myself, and I don't have this physical. I can just stop this tortures in my physical body. For example, I feel hungry. I feel sad. I feel shame about myself and、uh, all the figures and、uh, no, everything. I just don't face it. And then I'll be fine. Just mean suicide, you know, not in this physical form, but in the other hand, I find out I'm not only trapped in this physical body. I'm also in my spiritual body. So 
can I kill myself and I just escape from my physical a spiritual body no I can't so it's just no way out there is no way you don't face it and it just don't take this lesson do actually do it I feel I have no choice so how could I suicide kill myself spiritually because they are just there every time when I close my eyes I I'm there in my spiritual body so I'm still in my process in the K2 Dasha and if you don't believe or people don't recognize they don't understand this concept that's fine and I also every time when I see in this moment right now if I see somebody is chasing money they are so caught off sex and they feel they want to have that material success and they th believe that's the whole truth of this world I just feel I can totally un understand because they are in a different time period of time in their spiritual body life spiritual body cycle it's like the somebody is getting older so that's why they they cannot walking so fast the young kids they just want to you know play all the time they just want to you know suck all the time because they are just one year old that's the they just want want the suckling so that's everybody have the different dashas in their life but in this physical form so that's funny we have this like a infant to toddlers teenager blah 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 and we also have this mahadasha's cycle so whatever the things i try to say is what i learned from this so in this mahadasha the beginning the first year i start to having i start to quit meat immediately i think my body just started getting ready for not taking meat that's just my Body, how I reacted to this K2 Dasha and then I don't have meat and no diary and now I start to fasting and I start to learn and then feel more uh, feel more calm by learning spiritual wisdom for example astrology before I follow this Vedic astrology youtuber for a long time like yeah like it just like the beginning of the K2 Dasha but lately now I started to really deep inside because I think it's just in my pick I still didn't really fully face my K2 Dasha lessons though so that's why it's in my peak and uh, that's why I I am who where I am right now and that's how I want to share to myself pretty much so uh, have a nice time in your any dashas thank you